Okay, so what's up? Okay, Divine Feminine, all right? I'm Ashes the Rebirth. If you're new here, welcome. Uh, much love be extended to you. Um, you're here because there's some form of rediscovering who you are in your divine authentic self. We all have to be able to hear clearly from spirit, the inner knowing, to apply something on the outer, fulfill the whatever I'm here for, right? Uh, heal my way back into the space of atonement, however that rests in my consciousness and understanding of, you know, atonement. You know what I mean? You you dissect that yourself in your own journey, right? Um, but that's what we're here for, yeah? Um, and to those of you that are true to this and not new to this, what's up? Thank y'all for being here. Listen, I got a word for y'all, only because if y'all peeped a word earlier... <laughs> For the Divine Masculine, if you didn't, it's cool, you know what I mean? You you should watch it because there's pieces in there for Divine Feminine that's necessary. Um, but it was like, you could feel the energy, you know what I mean? Like it started off with Divine Feminine, all alert, want to know what's going on. Because you know, it's Divine Masculine, you know, what is it? You know, it's, it's trying to figure out something that it's like, I can't crack the code. Like what's going on on the insides of, of your mind. So everybody's, that's why everybody's always waiting for that sort of video, right? Soulmate type things, twin flame type things. What is another person thinking? Am I going to get the job? Like it's always a, I, I'm wanting to know a thing, you know? Okay. So anyway, sorry about that. Um, they interrupted me and I don't even know what I was saying to y'all, really. But either way, um, yeah, that's intro. Here, here. Oh, oh, I know what I was telling y'all. I was telling y'all because from the video earlier, uh, thank you, Spirit, because I was like, what the world? Uh, from the video earlier, Divine Masculine, it was like a, uh, you know, nosiness with Divine Feminine Energy, like what's going on? Like, yeah, let's get the tea, you know what I mean? Um, and so spirit was saying, okay, you wanted a word out of it. You wanted to see what the word was. You was waiting to see what those cards had said for divine masculine or what divine masculine was speaking. And I was like, okay, so, all right, I get shuffled, you know, clean the cards, shuffle the deck and everything. Spirit was like, no, nah, I ain't tell you switching the cards out. They wanted the word, hear the word, tell them what it say, tell them what the cards say. So same cards, right? If y'all saw the divine masculine reading, same cards, oath. But for divine feminine, you know what spirit say about this? Spirit said, hey, you keep giving oath. <laughs> How about that? But you keep giving oath and ain't gave oath to yourself. It's always going to seem to add up void, sis. Because you're trying, you trying to offer something that you ain't tasted yourself. You be cooking food and you ain't never tasted your own. What? <laughs> right it's like what unheard of you know what i mean you making oaths to others uh-huh men for sure but other people too if you're doing it for men you're doing it for others too you making oaths for other with other people an oath to other people and you haven't even made an oath to yourself spirit say hello divine feminine you wanted a word here your word right here all right you made an oath that made some choices, right? You made some choices, right? In those choices, sometimes things get misconstrued. The messages, what's coming through. You see this 45 reduces down to nine, you know, perspective. Okay. Uh you got message. I'm sorry about that. My son is like doing the most in the background. Here's what's so nice about this. If you did catch the, the divine masculine, okay, reading. See that, that hawk-ish bird? All right, I don't know if that's actually a hawk, but you see a hawk-ish bird there, okay? At the very beginning, okay, you ain't got to watch the whole thing to... To, to know that I I'm saying was true. I said, it feel like the divine feminine is hawking. <laughs> like, you know, just tuned in, trying to be in it. Look at that. All over the message. Try and get to it. What it's about, right? The divine masculines was talking about the oath that, that 
uh, that is needed to come from divine feminine energy unto the male, right? Unto men, right? This is an, you divine feminine in restorative position, spirit is saying, are offering oaths to people and, and you haven't done that unto yourself yet. And spirit has said, I'm, I'm waiting for that, right? This is prime time, right? To make an oath to yourself now. To make a choice to make it yourself now, right? To look at yourself. Shadow self, you ain't got to be light every day for everybody else, okay? You, you got to make a choice for yourself because the healing got to be real for you first before you can give it to somebody else. The love got to be real true to you before you can extend it out, right? You got to know what you enjoy, what you like before you can tell somebody else about how to please you, right? Somebody talk back to me. I just... I mean, holla if you hear me, <laughs> please, sis. That's what we out here for, yeah? Making the choice. You understand? This is making the choice. Oath to yourself, right? So that you can offer, uh, but the best of what you have to offer. You understand? As opposed to taking the brokenness of self. Remember the word that came through that song the other day um, about... I've been playing with your heart like it's not broken, like all those fragments. You don't want those just lingering around everywhere inside other people tethered, soul tied. You understand? DNA strands of yourself here, there, and everywhere. You couldn't collect yourself if you wanted to, right? Spirit is saying when you make oath to yourself, pieces of you aren't, aren't, aren't scattered. You've... Oh, Queen Lettucey in the building, y'all. How about that? So when you look at my face, you got to know that I'm made of everything, love and pain. Because why? These are the pieces of me. So well, when you look at my face, <laughs> you got to know that I'm made. What did the divine masculine, when we look in your face, we're going to see deeper than the physical so when you look at me, you got to know that I'm made of everything, love and pain. Of everything, love and pain. Because these are the pieces, all these oaths carried out everywhere else, trying to fill voids, trying to be oath loyalty worthy, ride or die for somebody else in some other venture. Spirit is saying, yo, everything love and pain the pieces of you you're gonna gather all of them and create oath unto yourself sis we're not giving out fragments and pieces of in hopes that you will tie them sew them mend them kiss them dick down them whole because it ain't gonna happen okay and if he is riding around with something like that between his legs that amend a wound like that <laughs> Okay, on the inside like that, okay? <laughs> Not tearing it up, but mending it. Can we talk about it? I'm just saying if I was a rapper, I might rap about mending the womb. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Being welcomed in the womb because I got it like that. I might not be talking about tearing down walls all willy nilly, you understand? Because I understand the structure and the makings of that wall. Can you hold tight for a minute? Like, like how Divine Masculine say they're going to hold tight, stand still for a minute until they know exactly where they belong. Spirit say you trying to fit in. Everybody keeping the light on just to see who going to come knocking, who might need restoration and have need of me. And I bring you in. And then when you bring me ills and heartbreak and everything else, I got a nerve to be wounded when I welcomed you in. Wounded and unaware myself. Sis, we got to take all of the brokenness, allow the healing to come in. You understand? Create oath of self to bring all the pieces of myself back together again. You understand? We're going to humpty dumpty the hell out of this journey. You understand? <laughs> then spirit say write it down make it plain somebody said it somebody said it and i heard it <laughs> and picked it up and i've been running 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 <laughs> okay i'm just saying sis okay 
choices, choices out here. Spirit's talking about the obedience. Remember that card for the Divine Masculine and the Grove, okay? If you're trying to be attached to the Grove, unless we got two wings, is the fellas in like, you know, masculine wing over here, you know, Grove M, and we over here, Divine Feminine, we in the Grove F over here, you know what I mean? Or is this you need to become established before you can recognize the grove because everybody ain't going to even recognize the grove. You understand? Because be mindful. Even the grove look rough on the outside. It's on the inside of the woods. <laughs> Where everybody ain't just going to trample and come through. This be a sacred place. This be a consecrated place. A constructed place come through divine masculine you see because y'all was all up in they reading and whatnot so go and welcome them in okay because right now <laughs> like it didn't take charge mode <laughs> so you might as well slow down <laughs> skip was like all right i'm tuning into my feminine energy i'm gonna tell y'all slow down in a real sexy way i'm gonna even add her on the track right so y'all can get it having everything what her come through the building. Thank you. Her come through the building. Her artist. Thank you. Music heals. Hashtag it. But also her uses. Her me. She be us. Say hey. the feminine. You understand? Very gently said, slow down. Why? Because we could have one night. You could have you. You want the nigga come through one night? All right. Fine. You want you want the dusty dude that still want to hold on to his wife, but he want to still be calling you too, cause it make you feel good that one night you still want hold to it. Oh, okay, okay. I I thought I could hear a broken heart saying something. Why? <laughs> cause only a broken heart would whisper something like that, would accept something like that, welcome something like that. You understand? When wounded comes along, divine feminine has either the ability to help to cultivate the healing in the space for that person. You know what I mean? Divine masculine. Same way we made oath today, right? But I ain't got no men right through here in my space. The only man in this space be my son. You know what I mean? Divine masculine energy other than the divine masculine that we hone in on our own. You know what I mean? Tons of men in the world. But we were able to give that oath and we all just sitting in our own living rooms. Right? Because that's that's the power. That's the power of energy. Of love. Of intention. We got to make sure we get in clear direction, clear message. Clear message because we back to the grove. That's where we left off. On the outside, you got to go inside the shrubbery, right? You got to go inside those hedges. You got to get in there to see where it's been, you know, cut down and molded into. And, and, and you know, look at that desired place that's prepared there. I'm just saying divine masculine came through today and I'm just saying something prepared. On the outside, it might look like a thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but if you stay in tune to your obedience, you see, she's standing in a position that I learned from my daughter, actually, in a pageant. That, that is the actual position that pageantry, th this is what you need to get your feet in tune to knowing how to stand, your thighs in tune to knowing how to stand and have your body still look forward, even though you have your leg, your hind leg, turned in another fashion, which begs you to turn, but you have to keep yourself forward balanced you see that in her hand there and the sword to know what to cut through and what to pierce and how to make a way for herself but all blindfolded and she's decked out in that red root chakra grounded all things good sandals toes out pretty poised making direction making moves divine masculine and feminine looking like its best balanced self right here you understand but elegantly doing it you see how she dressed oh honey she wearing that okay I'm in it, yes. I'm not cloaked in it. Y'all remember the reading a couple 
a readings ago we talked about being clubbed in something because you hadn't really harnessed the thing yet oh she wearing that honey she ain't cloaked in nothing she knows she got it on she threw <laughs> that on <laughs> okay knew what i was doing obedience because obedience to self meaning i've spent time with spirit i ain't out here just trying to get with somebody because it's, it's for the moment i'm lonely skip marley saying slow down we can have just this one night or we could have one whole life like what you looking for because you can slow down if you understand that you are the infinite being that you don't really have no timeline like that timeline like the timeline that get you in fear mode where you can't really progress and move the same way that fear and yelling and and other extra additives in childbirth can 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 constrict the flow that can be of ease of childbirth will soon become something that's horrific you ever seen somebody get hurt and they don't see the blood and then as soon as they see the blood oozing and everything they go ham didn't even realize it right but it sets in it's like a shock kind of thing you see Spirit say you're going to need to be in tune. You, you're going to have to really be, be in tune to me and you. Because I need you to be able to hear me clearly. Because you're going to walk past it and it's going to look like it's a hedge, sis. You're going to walk past it. It's going to look like it might not be nothing you're trying to walk in. It's going to look like it might be scary back there. Like ain't nobody tended to it in a while. It's too much work back there. I ain't got time for that. I'm not even getting ready to do it. And could be something. Do you see it? I'm just saying, I'm just, I'm not saying that it's regal and regal. I'm just saying that's what spirit said, divine masculine. Okay. I'm just saying that what was prepared by divine masculine was like real regal, real regal. Okay. <laughs> so I'm just saying, but because it's a grove, see, they rep the grove. You got to be in tune to who you are in obedience to your own balance of self. So even blindfolded, you can pick up on the facts through spirit because you've spent time and you know yourself and you know spirit and your team to know that here, uh-huh, right there is where it is. <laughs> even if you ain't got liberty to go in right then, like, right, you ain't just, you know, going up in the grove. You can't go around, up, you know, they say they rep the grove, you know, you can't just walk up in there because you know they got somebody that's going to be like, what, you ain't from here. You supposed to be around here? They gonna have to check you, make sure they gotta touch your gangsters. You here for, you here for real? You here for the naw? You here for the real? You here for the naw? <laughs> okay, they gonna check you. I'm gonna tell you right now because when divine masculine's reading, oh, spirit and the ancestors were out here. Oh, you're not coming all willy nilly. It's not gonna be that way. It's not gonna be in terms of, uh, you know, all men are horrible and. Now that you found me, I'm the greatest thing since sliced bread, since there ever was kingdom come. So treat me well. Unless you come in with something that's treat, treat wellable. <laughs> Let's how about we create that word. <laughs> okay. That means you spent time in that knowing of self. So I have something to offer as well. Like I'm out here. You see. It's not going to be a picture painted that it is divine masculine who is the only fuck up, mess up, disturbed brokenness of the world, modern and historical, will not be the story that get told. Because it ain't it. And be it as it may, you know, people read, you know, into whatever, you know, as far as story being told. But what is true is the only thing that is stand. So it don't matter how many stories are written right now. Only truth survives throughout everything everlasting. You understand? Y'all wanted it. Y'all wanted to come out the grove, didn't y'all? Divine Masculine said, they out here. Okay. Y'all wanted Pete. Now go and walk in. You see the head? You ain't scared. Go on. <laughs> you go scratch your arm. He to prepare something through there. That little hedge right there, oh girl, uh-uh, hold tight. You ain't even know what it was. They carry open that thing up for you just because you recognized. You ain't got to walk through the shrubbery. Once you realize it, it's going to be open for you. It's locked and disguised for those who have no need being here. You stay at bay. That's what the guides is out there for. Spirit said, them divine masculine been putting in some work, right? The story can't always be that the divine masculine is the horrid, wretched thing. They are the seed in which is being planted 
in our soil, someone has to bring back the oneness and the unity of that and recognize that. And if we are true divine feminine, then we must recognize that. And here, where Ash is the reaper, be catching divine entombment, okay? All right? It needs to be in good soil. So I make sure and well of that, right? My obligation. And then a spirit gives utterance to say to, you know, the other part, the other existence, right? Of the divine whole, I feminine and they masculine, right? Us feminine, them masculine. You know what I mean? The, the coming together. It's a belonging, things becoming aligned. That's kind of what this is about, really. That that belonging of a thing, because then what it is that you're asking for, what you're going to summons in, because we are summoners in our own right. Like we talked about it. I laughed about men summonsing the waterfall, you know, for us or whatever in their reading. But even, even we summons the same way men lead, women lead too, but it's just in a different way. You have to know where, where you are, you know, what's your lane, in, in other words, you know what I mean? Uh, the same way men protect, yes, but women protect in their own, you know, divine feminine energy. Like each energy has, you know, it's interchangeable, but knows what, what exists and what can be done in, you know, the spaces that I do. And then this and this and this, like how a community should be. It's how intergalactically everything is showing us it can be done <laughs> without a brain. Whoa. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just saying without a brain. Oh, and it's being done. Wow. Who would have thought? Side note, whatever. Okay. But so things can be done because the divine feminine summons in a way where, you know, the divine masculine is, in the terms that we used in that uh, video earlier was summonsing something in a way uh, that is going to, uh, you know, behoove the divine masculine, right? Uh, the desire, the need for productivity to move, um, to climax, right? To reach full maturation for the next thing, right? To lay that seed, right? Um, so then I can restore to come back for more. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying these are the relationship cards. I'm just saying, so it is in the natural, it is in the spirit. Don't it sound sweet all kinds of ways? <laughs> that sounds sweet to me in all kinds of ways. <laughs> She ready, <laughs> sis. <laughs> okay, we ready. Okay, but if it's if the summons card comes out in reverse, what it's saying is spirit is saying the place of belonging. You got to be able to know that the real direct messages are coming in, so that if you get directed to the grove, you know how to summons the king. Meaning the same way that we talked about the male or the or the divine masculine summonsing the divine feminine waterfall is the same way the divine feminine summons the masculine pillar to form right and i don't know about y'all sister but when i think of pillar i think pillar of truth i'm trying to get on a pillar of truth you understand what i'm saying if it ain't true and it ain't divine <laughs> i want that message to pass me by you understand that's why i'm hawking over top of it see what it look like and then i come swoop down <laughs> what it be about but you have to be balanced within yourself. And the only way to do that is in making that oath to yourself. Now, girls, if we crack this code right here in 20 minutes in what Spirit said, I'm going to leave it alone. Because you know what? I always go like over, over. I did say I wanted to do one of these. Um, these are my little girl. This is my girlfriend deck. Y'all know we got the new tea. Okay. Some uh, it, it, juniper berries and um, coriander um, and some other little hints and, and, and love and sprinkles. Um, of a herb blend for a tea. It's a girlfriend tea. This is a calmer, right? For when you with your girlfriends, instead of doing things that are gonna crush your, you know, um, your your you know, caring about yourself and your body and your life, you know, your your dietary kind of things. Um, eating a tub of ice cream or just going out and wasting money, just you know, like on your shopaholic, like you know, did me wrong. Here I go doing some you know negative shit, like. You can sip that, you know what I mean? And it'll help to ease and calm you out while y'all chit chat. So instead of it just being girl and he did and we been in, eh, eh, nah, this girlfriend tea that y'all can go on the Etsy shop now and purchase is going to help to soothe you out. So y'all can really come to a space where it's like, girl, we really about that lunar energy. So while my girl upset right now about what's going on and I'm peeped the game because I'm spiritually inclined to know that. The masculine got they things going on too. So let's make peace in both those spaces. I ain't got to dog him right now. And even if I do decide to tell her that like, 
what he's doing or how things are going are not legit, right? I, I can still, I'm, I'm in tuned enough where it doesn't become a gossip piece where we can still structure. We, we are the creators, the ones who cultivate a thing. What do I want the space to be? What do I want to really, you know, what, what's going to be uh, birthed? Right. What, what am I going to allow? Right. In this portal, this womb to give life to it, because once it comes here, that's what happens. I'm, I'm you know, I'm giving birth to something. Right. So that's what that tea is going to do for y'all. So I hope y'all uh, some people get it and then like leave some reviews so I can see like really how it's going. Like, you know what I mean? This is a community here. OK, these ain't no gigs here. <laughs> you understand? It ain't no no followers and leaders here. This is the sisterhood is real. You understand? Okay. All right, spirit. We just want to uh, uh, kind of like a I hate to say a goodbye message, but like a you know little this intro keeps coming out. Oh my goodness! Like this even comes out like even on my individual readings. The idea of intro, like when we first meet someone, um, and this is a real talk card. Um, if, if we first meet somebody, like it stays kind of surface when you first meet them, you just kind of feeling each other out. You try and see all their good qualities that they show in. You try and see which ones is false, <laughs> you know, overload. You trying to hide your flaws and stuff to see what they, you know what I mean? But you're only talking surface. That intro card is talking about like all of that sometimes is really, really good because it's like an elevator of things. It's got that Skip Marley energy of slow down. It's okay to start with the surface and then go a little bit and a little bit and a little bit. What are you rushing for? If the things that you are saying to yourself, you believe and trust, right? When it comes to your existence and source, be real. You can take it easy because you can afford to, sis. Unless you rush in to go back into disaster. Because sometimes that's where fast and speed gets you, right? It says it makes sense to keep things surface level in, in situations where you don't have the time or the relationship to go deeper. So instead of always trying to rush really quickly to the deep, Adele, where you rolling in the deep and can't get yourself out no more because she ain't say, you know, walking in the deep or standing solid. It was rolling in the deep. Okay. No control here. Before you get there to the deep, sis, spirit is saying you could save yourself a lot of trouble if you make oath to yourself. And then when certain things come in based off those small little intro kind of situations, those surface kind of situations, you ain't rolling in the deep. So you can make a clear, decisive, you know, uh, you know, decision here not to get yourself into anything deeper because you trying to get to the grow. You, you already know. I mean, you're not even trying to really get to the grove. Like, it's just going to be you walking past the grove one day. But the grove is already prepared. Because whoever, you know, divine masculine who's <laughs> out there in the grove getting shit prepared. You see what I'm saying? Like, already knows that the royalty going to stroll by and I already got to have it prepared. You understand? Woo! Okay, divine masculine, divine feminine, okay? If there was ever a time for us to come through, okay? It is time for us to come through now, okay? Divine masculine got it prepared. You know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of like on King Queen. Like it reminds me divine masculine, divine feminine, even though both cards were used in both readings. Right now, the Grove is the divine masculine. He's prepared the place, right? He already knows what it's going to be. He's tuned in because remember, we're seeing the divine masculine for more than what everything in the world and even what we've come to know in our immediate environment has taught us about what the men around us are going to do. That does not equate the world and the real energy and, and the fact that love and the quality of it within our own wisdoms and what we're doing in that love within ourselves will help us empathetically with others, but not end us in our demise or being wounded because we're working in our deeper levels. We, we've, we've gone deeper than surface with ourselves for sure. If not, then somebody, <clears throat> maybe a rapper real quick and, you know, get the turntables. Let me reintroduce myself. My name is, uh, okay. And then you finish your little freestyle, okay? <laughs> okay? Reintroduce yourself. If you don't really know yourself beneath the surface. You understand? Um, and then this obedience is the divine feminine because she, you know, put the whole get up on. Okay? I'm ready. Okay? 
all senses are blared, loud, I'm good to go, right? So when I walk past the grove, I'm blindfolded. <laughs> but she got the sword if she want to cut through it. Do y'all peep that? Because why? Because the Empress not going to be afraid because if she knows it's back there. Okay, that's why I say get you one that's well-rounded. Okay, because sometimes it be like that. <laughs> It's, it's, it's lamb and lioness out here, okay? Ain't that right, sis? That's right, okay? Don't be mad because Divine Masculine came through on your reading because y'all was all up in theirs. Belonging. Summon, summoning things in and that introduction is the ending, which is really, really... Ooh, somebody taste and see how sweet spirit is. With the Divine Masculine's reading, I ended up saying hello to the Divine Masculine at the end of their video. At the end... Of, uh, uh, who can somebody say she's real didn't i say this was real talk <laughs> i didn't say it was real talk whoever made the card said it was real talk i'm just making it alive <laughs> and telling you it's real talk how about we got the intro at the end of our reading as well can you say divine alignment can you say things coming into focus her on me? Focus on me. Are you tuned into yourself? Because that way you have no trouble introducing yourself to someone else. And exiting yourself from someone whose space doesn't match what's going to be conducive and good for you. And knowing that that's okay and you're still a lover and you still can... Wish all well for them. Right? But I have to stay to my standard. Right? So. That's for us. Divine Feminine. I'm going to tell you what. It made my soul feel good. I feel good about it. It's a good word. Right? From spirit. So that we're very aware. But I just love how spirit said. Okay. You won't be all up in Divine Masculine word. Go ahead. Give them the cards then. I thought we was going to shuffle. Get a whole new read. Spirit was like, nah, y'all weren't supposed to be 30 minutes in though. So I'm getting ready to go, sis. I love y'all dearly. Okay. Uh, but y'all word can't be longer than divine masculine because y'all was only supposed to be getting a little snapshot because y'all was all nosy and they reading and whatnot. If you ain't subscribed, you need to go and subscribe. Okay. Because you family by now. Because I know if you're watching this one, you probably watch something else too. Quit watching me and not subscribe. Why? Because we get ready to try to build a whole family. I need y'all to be talking. Right? This ain't a watch me show. This is a all let's grow. Right? This is ideal in all reciprocal relationships. In all ways. You understand? And you should too. In all you're seeking, do seek yourself. And remember to be led and guided by all things pure, true, and love. And all things great and grand. And be beckoned unto you. It is, y'all. We here in it. You understand? <laughs> we here in it. One love. It's been Real Sugar Ashes of Rebirth. Peace out. Ashe.